the garbage trucks are hauling, the tag guy is flowing, the karaoke is blaring. That means it's Sunday in Payadas and we've got our sixth game of Payadas FC season in the High Five Women's Futsal League. Here's the standings going into the game. We've dropped down to third and Zuri B take over our spot on goal difference uh, because of our first loss of the season last week against Aloy. So this is a super important game for those semi-final top four spots. And I got will kick off the game for Payatas FC as we go head to head with Azuri B for the second spot in the league. Azuri B have several varsity college players, national football team players. They're a very strong squad and this should be an excellent test for our girls. And as here we've got Angela trying to get the ball. AJ wins the ball for Payatas FC. Ago will break. She's up against Joyce here on the right wing. Joyce is also from Davao. Uh, the two of them know each other very well as Azuri B break. They've got three on one almost here. This is Juliana from Azuri B. Excellent save from Joanna from that shot. The two girls linking up there. They're uh, PWU College varsity players. Uh, a lob over the top from Joyce. And fortunately, May's there to clean up. But here you can see the intent and some of the skill that Azuri B have. Not great from there. May and Agot get in each other's way, but this is good fight from May. Excellent steal from Agot. She's going to drive forward. Still there, she's got a chance here. Excellent finish from her, she's put it underneath the goalkeeper. This is our first shot of the game, and we've scored from that. So this is a really good start from us. Uh, it's 1-0 for Payatas FC, uh, and against the runner play in the first couple of minutes, maybe. But we're happy to be up 1-0. Azuri B now trying to recycle the play. Chaz gonna fight for that, that's good effort from her. Uh, Azuri B trying to get it to the keeper. Chaz has stolen in. And she's going to poke the ball, she's going to toe poke that in for 2-0 for Payata FC. That's an excellent start from us. Angela, good pass from her, she sold Joyce away from that and now we have 2v1. Good pass from Agot, Cha with the immediate shot, it's a very very good chance created by us. Uh, and all of the girls did very well there, much better positioning, much better passing from our team. Joanna's going to have the ball for... Uh, to, to recycle that, here's Agot inside to AJ. Good play from them. She's gonna try and cut inside. Too much dribbling in the middle there, in, in defense. Joyce hits the shot from the wing, uh, and it's gonna be a save. We're gonna build up from the back. Here's Agot again. Uh, sometimes I have to bring her into defense because we have so many wingers, but not enough defenders in the team. So we need to balance them a bit more, but she's excellent winning the ball and driving forward for us. Good turn from Chai and Ashley. They're the, the younger sisters playing together up at the top. And there's Cha, really pressing now, really fighting. Uh, good for her. You can hear also the squeaks on the court there. Uh, last week I complained about the court. There was a lot of, it was slippy. Oh, excellent nutmeg there from Joyce. Again, national form uh, football uh, player. Uh, but the court is so much better this week. The organizers said that the turf, uh, the artificial turf had brought in some dust, uh, but now they've really uh, improved that. So kudos to them for, for, for that improvement. Now the court is, again, beautiful. Uh, here's Ashley gonna try and cut inside. Agot in the middle of the field. Plays it out wide to Ashley again. They're just gonna recycle the play. There's AJ in support. They're gonna calm that down a bit more as Azuri B tried to press. Nice play from Cha. She comes inside. She's got Ashley at the second post. Doesn't get quite there. Here she is again. And she's hit the post. I think that was a save onto the post. So very good save from the Azuri B goalkeeper there. She stops it going down to 3-0. And that's a, a difficult uh, mountain to climb once you get three, four, five goals behind. They try to throw the ball forward. I got with good chest to bring it down. AJ forward. Is Ashley on the wing. She's looking for support. There's AJ to provide it. She's missed that one. But that's an excellent recovery from her. This is something we've been working on with AJ. Her, obviously her fitness and her recovery. I got same thing there. There's intensity in that tackle. Excellent shadow. She's not diving in as much and she's managed to shepherd the ball out of play there. It's gonna be our goal clearance and here's Chad to break away. Azuri B slow on the recovery. Here's Ashley, slightly better pass and that's another excellent chance. There's our intensity, there's our speed, there's our, um, our skill on show as we look to really pile on the pressure uh, during the game. Uh, this is them, nice skill from her, but I got, uh, I thought she won the ball, but the referees have called a foul first. Joyce is gonna shoot from the halfway line. 
This is something Joyce really likes to do. She likes to shoot from a long way out. In futsal, that's going to be very difficult. She scores a lot of goals for Nomads doing this in the sevens, uh, in, in the 11 aside league, because the goal is much, much bigger. In futsal, she's going to struggle. It's AJ, excellent skill to bring that forward. Out wide to Ashley. She's going to poke it in. That is an excellent goal from Payathas FC. 3-0, and that is beautiful passing to tear apart that defense. Very, very good goal from our girls. AJ is going to play the ball out wide. She's having an excellent game so far. She's really showing how much she's improving every week. May, um, sorry, I got on the ball. Good bit of skill from her. She's going to play that out wide to Ashley. We've got three on two in the middle there. Let's it go to Cha at the back post. Good block from Missouri B, and the goalkeeper will claim that. Um, better defending from them there. Long ball forward. Bit of a 2v1 there. AJ, uh, she's been called for a high foot there. The free kick. Good defending from the girls, they've tracked their markers properly, they've poked away at that ball, they've won that well and now Ashley can break, she tries to play it quickly to Cha, back to Ashley, inside, and the shot is at the keeper, this is good play from the girls, on the counter attack we are so quick, I think we're the best in the league at that, on the counter attack, on transition, as Agot breaks down Ben there, there. Toloi last week took us apart with their positioning and their rotation, but this is what we do very well as AJ will clean up the play. Out wide to Cha, and Agot. She's gonna calm things down a little bit. Comes inside, nice turn from her. And the ball's gonna go out for a kick in. It's a long ball from there, and AJ with a good control. Agot with a loose pass this time, but AJ again is there to clean that up. Forward to Cha, Ashley is in so much space. A better first touch, and she's got a very good chance there. But Cha will take the shot from range. She forces the keeper into a save. It's very difficult to score from there though. Our corner attack almost works. Um, and here's Dempel coming in from MLFU. She's challenging there. This is excellent recovery from her. This is something we drill into our players all of the time. We have to recover. We have to fight back. If you lose the ball, it's okay. Just fight back. Get back into position and make it difficult for the opposition to have a clean opportunity. So well done to our girls there. Uh, his uh, Rio May has come into the play as Dempel is there, his second post almost gets her goal and that's the first half. As we go into the second half, Azuri B again looking to get back into the game. Um, Agot's going to play that forward but it's a bit of back and forth from both teams here. There's Joyce, good touch from her and that's nice through the middle play. We need to get closer to the play and she's going to smack it. Fortunately, it's straight down Joanna. So this is what I said a bit earlier, was the long shots in futsal are gonna be very difficult for, for her to score these. She's got an excellent, excellent shot. And she's the, the, the main shooter uh, for Azuri B. We ha um, she has to be getting closer to get them as Azuri B were a bit sleepy on that corner. That could have been a bit more dangerous. Joanna's goal clearance is to Argot, down the line, Dempel. She finds May, but Argot's gonna win the ball back. Loose pass from her. And Azuri B can counter-attack. Gonna drive forward through the middle. Ooh, she's trodden on the ball. Fortunately, she's up straight away. I'm glad she's not hurt. Uh, again, that's one of the Western Beacon Town players. Nice feint from May. She's getting better at this. Improving every week, and that's what we want to see from our girls. Um, May, Cha, uh, our younger players are improving every week. Uh, Rio May's on the field. She's improving in her intensity on the ball. Uh, getting in the faces of the players to, to block the shots to make it difficult for them. Decent play from our girls, ball over the top. Uh, doesn't work out this time, as Agot again is gonna try and build up. Good pass down the line, we're free in the middle. The ball comes in, May, and she scored. That's, I think that's May's third goal of the season. The goalkeeper maybe could have done a bit better on that one, but that's uh, May's third goal. I think we're four nil up now. Uh, so it's a good, good start for us in Payathas FC. Uh, here's Joyce again, she's gonna look for the shot, but the block's on. Excellent play from them. Ashley has stolen in just before. Um, this is one of the national team uh, players, si younger sisters. So I think she's 15 years old or something now. So she's got a bright future ahead of her as well. Um, Ashley stole in front of her to, to commit the ball away. Chai and Ash with the pressure. Gonna try and get the ball through there. Here's Ashley again on the edge of the area. She takes the shot. Took a bit of a deflection that time, and that's another goal for Ashley. Um, she's the league's leading scorer right now. It's crazy. You've got a 13-year-old at the top of the scoring charts for the, the top futsal league in the Philippines. Um, she's doing so, so well. A lot of those goals are coming from uh, I've got winning the ball, driving, and, and laying the ball off for her. Uh, but she's getting into the right position. She's improved her shooting so much. 
And here we are again. Ashley lays it off the chat, takes the shot, and it's just over. Another chance for us. <clears throat> Chad's gonna try and press there. She's up against Joyce. She tries to keep it in, but Chad wins the ball, plays it into Ash, edge of the area. She's taking the shot from distance. And another goal for her. I think that's a hat trick for the game. Uh, and it's much more comfortable for Pi FSFC. This is a, obviously a great game for us as Ashley drives forward. This is a good statement from us in this game. Excellent skill from her. She's got Dimple who's coming now on the right wing there. Uh, but Ashley's uh, cross went straight to the keeper. Well played from Cass, our younger goalkeeper. She's in grade eight. She's improving as well every week as she trains well. Ashley finds Agot down the line. She's got Dimple at the second post. Here she is. And that's a decent save from the goalkeeper. She's out to block that. Nice lob from Angela from the corner. Long shot from Agot. And that's another good save from the goalkeeper. That's something we're working on in training is those lob balls in futsal. They can be very useful. Excellent pass from Joyce. Cass comes out. To, to I, th I thought block that. That was actually giving us a goal clearance. Um, the shot was wide. As Joyce is looking for the shot. Well done from Rio May to block her there. Ashley as well on the defense. These are two 13, 15 year olds uh, doing well there. Cass with the save. Um, so this is good that we get those them game time against quality opposition. Joyce is gonna take the shot from distance again. Cass covers that. I think she got a touch on that as well. But again, um, on the replay, uh, it didn't look like that there as Rio May plays down the line to Ashley. We've got 2v1 again, quick counter attack, good play from Ashley. Dimple back to Ashley, who knocks it just over the par. That could have been seven, that could have been Ashley's fourth. But Azuri B here show again flashes of danger. We're a bit sleepy on those corners. We have to do better for, for those ones. <laughs> nice attempt from Ashley there. I, I love the experimenting, I love the attempt at skills in that position of the court because it's safe to do it there when you recover, when you get back into position. Azuri B on the counter attack and now we get a good save from Cass. Another corner for Azuri B. And Cass is there to block it again. It'll be another corner. Let's fight in again. There's Rio made to block. She's out there to fight for that, to block that good save from Cass. And we get the ball away. Here's Joyce for Azuri B. She's gonna stand up two of our girls, Arlene and Dimple. Excellent pirouette from her. She gets past AJ as well and flashes the ball just wide. You can see the skill that she has there. As she adjusts again back to futsal, you can tell she's gonna be a phenomenal player for that. As Azuri B, they press, bad defending from us. Uh, Azuri B will get one on the board and that's now 6-1. Here's AJ, cuts inside. Good play down the line. It's Hannah trying to fight back. Uh, Azuri B will counter attack in on goal, Juliana and I'm glad Cass is out quickly, but Juliana from Azuri B should not be that free in the area. Bad play from us, good feet from Juliana, and she's poked the ball into the net. Um, this is 6-2 already, and in futsal, it happens quickly, you can fire in the goals. Joyce Cat trying to get the rebound, she'll smash that into the side netting from Cass's save, but now it's only a four goal difference, very, very quickly into this game. Here's Joyce again, she's gonna stand up our players, shimmies inside, and fires wide. The goal is too small to be shooting from that kind of distance in futsal. I got trying to spin, she spun into trouble. AJ's blocked that very well. And what in the world is happened there? Oh, that's uh, unlucky. Um, AJ and Cass were actually hurt from this, uh, unfortunately for them. They were trying to scramble back. Bit of a heavy hit on there. We get, um, we, we changed the team to, to be able to, to see out the game here. Uh, as chat is gonna press forward. Here's Ashley with the chance. Block shot, Agot, just outside the area, left foot, she'll bury it into the bottom corner, and that's gonna see out the game, I think, there. That's 7-3 to us, that's 10 goals in this game. Uh, a much, much better game from us this week. Uh, long shot from Azuri B will go wide. Oh, sorry, good save from Joanna. She's gonna gather the ball uh, and see out this match. She didn't concede a goal all game as well. She played very well, made some excellent saves. The full-time whistle goes for us. And that's a, a very well hard fought victory for Payetas FC. We showed what we could do in this game. Um, everything has improved from last week with our effort, with our recovery, with our play. We're now gonna go back up to second in the league. Um, kudos again to the organizers of the league because they took that feedback from last week and they tried to look at what the cause was and they really fixed that. So that's great to see. Uh, Ashley is, has now 12 goals in the league. I got seven. Cha five. I got leads on the assists on the other side. She's really her and AJ Cha are the creative forces for our team. 
uh, racking up the assists on the other side of that. So well done to our girls for a very, very important three points as we look to finish second or third in the league. Next week we'll be up against RTU, so against another college varsity team. And we're again looking for uh, more goals, more improvement, to see our girls fight more and the younger ones get more game time so they can develop because they want varsity scholarships. And again we get to show what grassroots, community-based football and futsal is all about as they develop um, not just into good players but good people as well with the mentoring sessions and with everything we have with the girls and boys on and off the pitch. So thanks uh, for your support, give us a like, yeah, give us a comment and share this video if you like the video, if you want to show your support for Bayathas FC and we'll see you next week for the 7th match of the High Five Women's Futsal League.